So after five hours and forty minutes, uh, I'm arriving at uh, the uh, Green Lake uh, transition point to fly into Oshkosh. Um, there's one airplane behind me and one just crossing in front of me somewhere. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can get behind that guy. And uh, just have to look out now. But the guy ahead of me is like 300 feet above. Good afternoon, everybody. Oshkosh is driving runways 18 right and runway 27. Please become familiar with that notum. Reaching Green Lake, pick out an aircraft number performance, file that aircraft half mile and trail. So this is the new arrival procedure um, where they um, added some uh, waypoints to spread out the traffic. Um, so I'm now just flying along uh, the south shore of uh, Green Lake. And it looks like I have one airplane ahead of me and one right behind me. So right now I keep the speed up uh, until I see the other airplane. Because when I get to rip, and, uh, at that point uh, you're supposed to slow down to like 90 knots. And I know it's going to be mostly the same airplanes listening, but we haven't said it in just a little while. All aircraft that just tuned in, Oshkosh is arriving. Runway 18 right and runway 27. Please become familiar with these procedures in the NOTAM. And uh, on the way, we're using the Green Lake transition for the Fisk arrival. So head toward Green Lake, northeastbound, Ripon, follow the railroad tracks, Fisk, and we'll let you know when it happens when you get there. So I think I see the railroad tracks. There's a road uh, going there, and uh, just to the left uh, there are the railroad tracks. I follow these rail railroad tracks now up to, uh, to Fisk. And then I should get my instructions uh, which way to turn. So I've been flying like 5 hours and 43 minutes, uh, still have almost half a tank on the left. High wing tail dragger just a half mile south of Fisk. Go ahead and start a right turn. Fly eastbound. The tail dragger just over Fisk. So start a right turn. There you go. Start a right turn. Fly eastbound. Cross uh, just south of the Oshkosh Airport, 1800 feet, and enter a left downwind for runway 18 right. Monitor tower now 126.6. Welcome. Okay, so I was directed to fly. Uh for the arrival of uh, 18 right, which is right here, the 1800 feet over to tower 126.6, almost there. And you have to stay at 1800 feet until you really get to the airport because uh, ultralights uh, uh, arriving from the south. And I believe they're flying at 1,500 feet. So you can't descend too early. 
Otherwise, uh, you fly right into their path. Now I don't have anybody in front of me, so I can speed up a little bit. No reason to fly so slow. So I flew basically uh, non-stop from... Uh, well, I'm not there yet, but I, st I still have... Uh, just le less than half a tank. Um, so anyhow, so I flew non-stop from Winchester to uh, Oshkosh. So far, five hours and fifty minutes. So it's going to be just under six hours non-stop, which is not by longest flight. Uh, the longest flight I've done is like six hours and forty or something. There's Oshkosh. And high wing on the downwind, start your base turn and proceed towards a big dot, clear to land. Okay, let's see if I can hit the pink dot. And tell dry your turn right there, where are you parking? Uh, I'm gonna be parked in uh, row 81 West or 81, 84 West. Okay, follow the flagman, I'll uh, guide you in there. Thanks, and welcome to Oshkosh. Hey, okay. real quick, uh, Finanza guy with the Troublemaker. I'm down here looking for the North 40, and I'm not getting any direction. And so send the downwind, sir, you descent. Well, there was a lot of... <laughs> Um, news about uh, the smoke from the wildfires in the west coming to the east coast and so I flew from Winchester Virginia to Oshkosh 627 miles and uh, the evidence is right on my airplane these are the leading edges of the strut where it's very visible um, <clears throat> where you can see the, the soot I can uh, just wipe it off here um, so it's in the leading edges of, of all the, the surfaces, most visible on the struts because they're white. So there's a lot, a lot of it also on my prop here. And then even on the cowling, on the air intake, I have a lot of soot from the fires. So it's really amazing how far the smoke can travel. So it's Saturday morning here at Oshkosh, uh, the Saturday before the show actually starts. When I came here, um, I was uh, the first one to be parked here in the row where all the uh, uh, short wing pipe is going to be parked. And uh, since then, uh, the first row is pretty much filling up here. Um, so there's quite a few that already came in. But there's still a lot of room here. And this morning, uh, a lot of these short wing Piper Club members, they uh, flew into Baraboo, uh, Wisconsin and they were supposed to arrive here this morning. But uh, we had a little bit rain already this morning and there's more rain to come. 
so uh, they probably have to delay a little bit but uh, sometimes this morning or early afternoon this field should be all filled up with uh, uh, short wing pipers so I look forward to it um, meeting a lot of people that I only know from the um, uh, blog on the, on, the, on the website actually looked like they did make it out of Baraboo because um, now we have uh, a lot of uh, tri pacers arriving here um, they already start filling up uh, the row in front of me and there's quite a few coming
So today is the first day of the show and I'm walking the uh, antique section. It's really uh, a lot of beautiful airplanes. Um, it's ov almost overwhelming uh, how many airplanes uh, you see when you come to Oshkosh. Um, I like to go to Sun and Fun because it's smaller, um, but you definitely see more airplanes uh, here, in, uh, here at Oshkosh. Then here's like uh, five beach stagger wings parked, also very beautiful airplanes. And then in this corner there are a whole um, bunch of uh, Howards that you also don't see so often. the morning here in Oshkosh. Um, last night at the uh, night at like one o'clock or so we had the first uh, rain and light thunderstorm moving through and was another one come came through at uh, four in the morning so uh, yeah, but by 11 o'clock today it should be okay um, so I'm just gonna sit here watch the rain come down made my breakfast already so just relaxing watching the rain. Jason Boo said, look, into this Yamaha scream, over 300 horsepower and 10,000 RPM. Yeah! Pop Dory Jr. in the modified Pacer. He's got leading edge slats, he's got extended wings, he's got big tires. Dad's launching him off the line. To win. Al Stockman slipping it in. The super light. <laughs> Two. Morning at the seaplane base. Uh, just watching some uh, of them take off and land.
Wednesday evening here at uh, Oshkosh, or Wednesday night, actually, it's uh, about 11 and 30 at night. We uh, made a thunderstorm warning uh, earlier, and uh, now the front is just uh, moving through. So it's a uh, night where you're not going to get too much sleep until all this weather is going to move through. Tonight, we not only celebrate aviation, but more so the community. This community, in this magical place we call Oshkosh. While we are incredibly grateful to the first responders and frontline workers who helped keep us going during the peak of the pandemic, it is in each one of you that is the lifeblood of this event and EAA. We missed out on 2020, but tonight we are again whole. A revival of the human spirit together once again.
How do you hear me, sir? 22 Golf Hotel, how do you hear? Number four. Number 42, Victor, turn left heading 180. For that, for 42 Zulu, left uh, 180. For 42 Zulu, affirmative, left turn 180. Left turn 180, 42 Zulu. For 42 Zulu, have you started that turn? Affirmative, uh, started the turn, 42 Zulu. Number 3, Victor Papa, fly runway heading runway 27, clear for takeoff. Runway heading 27, clear for takeoff, 3 Victor Papa. Number 9, Papa X ray, runway 27, clear to land. Clear land, 7 9, Papa X ray. Oshkosh unexpectedly got uh, IFR, so um, I filed flight plan to get uh, just north of uh, Chicago. I land there and then uh, figure out the rest of the map. Number to uh, Zulu contact Milwaukee 127.0. Good day. Milwaukee 127.0, 4 to Zulu. Good day. Milwaukee approach, pace at 334 to Zulu, climbing through 2200. 334 to Zulu, Milwaukee departure, Ident, climb maintain 5000. Ident and up to 5000 for to Zulu. Report to Zulu, radar contact a mile south of the Oshkosh airport. Oh, watch out for to Zulu. There's 4-2 Zulu, slight amendment to your route, just let me know when you're ready, copy. Uh, step by 4-2 Zulu. Alright, Echo Sierra, and tell you what, amend your altitude, maintain 4,000, please. Maintain 4,000, 8 Echo Sierra. And 4-2 Zulu, ready to copy? 4-2 Zulu, proceed direct to Bravo, Juliet Bravo at this time, then direct to Waukegan. Direct uh, Bravo, Juliet Bravo, and then direct uh, Uniform Golf November, 4 to Zulu. Thank you. So I'm cruising at 5,000 feet. Uh, six, six, Romeo, six, six, Romeo X-ray, Milwaukee departure, Ident, and climb maintain 8,000. So I'm just uh, uh, maybe 20, 30 miles south of... Uh, Contact Milwaukee on 125.35. 125.35, 4 to 5 5 Zulu. Good day. There's 08 Alpha radar contact for. Milwaukee approach, pace at 33, 4 to Zulu, level 5000. Number 3342 Zulu, Milwaukee approach, going in Mitchell Center 3004. 3004, 4 to Zulu. So, like I said, I was surprised to get an IFR clearance that easy leaving Oshkosh. It was a little bit of a scramble, um, and taxing was a little bit uh, uh, interesting, um, but everything worked out fine, and uh, now actually below, it's already clearing up, so I'll probably just fly a visual approach into a uh, Waukegan uh, airport. And that is where then i uh, going to fuel up, because uh, my auxiliary tanks are empty. And probably go VFR from there, or I may file IFR and uh, just, just for the fun of it. So let's see. So I took off from uh, Waukegan, where I got dry gas, and uh, decided to just fly VFR and enjoy the uh, Chicago skyline, just one more time. So, just coming up in the windshield here. A little bit bumpy. But at least the visibility is much better than when I came up here last week.
been about 45 minutes since I lost uh, Waukegan, uh, where I filled up everything. Uh, flew down the shoreline and I'm away home from Oshkosh. Um, so it was a really great trip. And I'm just uh, at the end of the shoreline here of uh, Lake Michigan. So I'm a VFR straight flight, uh, straight line. Uh, I have about 3 hours and 35 minutes to go and I should be back home. So it was a great trip to Oshkosh. So now next trip, uh, I'm hoping uh, here in another couple of weeks, maybe in a month or so, uh, go to uh, uh, Idaho actually. That depends if uh, the smoke is uh, going to clear out uh, over there. So we'll see. So stay tuned and uh, subscribe to my channel so that you get alert when, uh, when I start uploading uh, the next videos, hopefully from Idaho.